We turn now tonight to the ABC News exclusive one on one with Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates on artificial intelligence. The new technology that's already here, it can solve complex problems, write essays, come up with recipes with a simple image of what's inside your refrigerator. It can even help doctors. Tonight here, Bill Gates on why Americans should embrace it, but with caution. And when asked, is the U.S. government, are regulators ready? Not yet. Rebecca Jarvis with the interview tonight. Tonight, the ABC News exclusive, billionaire philanthropist and Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates on his optimism and his warning for Americans on the meteoric rise of artificial intelligence. Are you scared? We're all scared that a bad guy could grab it. Uh, let's say the bad guys get ahead of the good guys. Then something like cyber attacks, you know, could be driven by an AI. The White House, the administration, regulators here in the U.S. Do you think they're up to speed? Not yet. They're not ready. Not yet. I mean, why are they not ready? You're never going to have every politician understanding it. But how do you build up a capacity to review things? You know, they won't be the experts, but they have to be part of that discussion. Why not put a pause to it while we just figure out some of these very basic things? If you just pause the good guys and you don't pause everyone else, you're probably hurting yourself. You definitely want the good guys to have strong AI. Can you guarantee that? If you stop the good guys, you can guarantee it won't happen. Gates urging caution, but not pausing. We are with him in Kemmerer, Wyoming, about three hours south of Jackson. This is actually the place where the nuclear island will be located where he's working on his own innovation the next generation of nuclear energy with his company TerraPower determined to create cleaner cheaper power and new high-tech jobs why are you so committed to nuclear energy well nuclear energy uh, if we do it right will help us solve our climate goals what do you say to the critics who say it's expensive, there are the safety and security issues, and then there's the issue of radioactive waste. Yes, today's plants are way too expensive. We've solved all the uh, areas where there have been safety challenges, and we have dramatically less waste, but every one of those areas you mentioned, there are valid concerns that TerraPower has to show that, that we've solved. Is everything different 10 years from now? No, not everything. Uh, what people like to do, people wanting jobs in a community uh, like Kemmer, uh, a lot will stay the same. Not everything changes, David, but Bill Gates does acknowledge that building that whole new generation of reactors, it's gonna take time. And even in the best case scenario, that plant in Wyoming, it won't open until 2030. And that's actually fast. He does argue that if all of this is done carefully and securely, nuclear can fight climate change. And on AI, Gates says it is American innovation that got us here. And now this is a global race. And David, he really wants us to lead, but he also wants the regulators here to get caught up and do it at lightning speed. And we heard that message before from your previous coverage of AI. All right, artificial intelligence is here and you'll stay on it. Thanks, Rebecca. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.